The next big bottleneck for AI is electricity. Not chips, not data, power. And we're already running out of it. Let me show you why this changes everything. Right now, one single data center, around 25,000 square feet, uses four megawatts of power. That's enough to power 12,000 homes. If we zoom out, Virginia's data center alley now pulls five gigawatts. That's nearly half the homes in the entire state, but we're only just getting started. The pipeline of data centers coming online in the next few years, it's expected to need an additional 40 gigawatts. Now let's visualize that. One gigawatt powers about 750,000 homes. 40 gigawatts is equivalent to 30 million homes. That's like lighting up the entire state of California. Now take a global, 7,000 plus data centers built or in development. By 2034, they're projected to consume 2,900 terawatt hours annually. That's double what all of India uses in a year. Yes, a country of 1.4 billion people. So here's the tension, AI is surging. ChatGPT made it obvious, but it doesn't run on old internet infrastructure. It runs on GPU clusters, which need five to 10 times the power of normal server racks. This demand is breaking the grid. In many US regions, companies now wait years just to connect to new data centers to electricity. And that's why the US is now looking outwards, striking deals with allies like India to expand data center development abroad, not just to move hardware, but to tap their power grids, to share the load, and to build AI where energy still exists. Even nuclear power is back in serious conversations because renewables like solar can't move fast enough to keep up. And without a base load source like nuclear, the AI boom hits a wall. So the question is no longer what can AI do, it's where can we power it? The future of AI isn't just about innovation, it's about infrastructure and whether we can generate enough electricity fast enough to fuel it. Because the world needs AI, but AI demands more power than the US currently has in supply. And that's a dangerous position to be in if we're serious about winning the next frontier of this technological race. It all comes down to one thing that we're not talking about enough, 